right. Oh. <laughs> okay, Dober. Okay, and we're back with Rich Millet, and right now we're just going to get right into it. Rich is going to read one of his works, and uh, then you know, he'll comment on it afterwards, just to give you an idea of what it's all about right off the bat. Okay. So there I am, sitting comfortably in my bedroom, thinking typical teenage thoughts, such as, would she really be good for a one-night stand, and is there any banana yogurt left? When I got the idea to go check the mail, it was the usual assortment of Columbia House back payments, People magazine, phone bills, etc. The bottom, however, was a letter from our United States Marines. Our wonderful armed forces flashed some exciting catchphrases past my malnourished, underdeveloped Gen X brain. Guns, computers, and money for college. But they might have really attracted me by saying, the chicks dig it too. If you're not a faggot, sign up now. And if you're a minority, even better. Too many niggers and spicks running around loose in the hood anyway. Learn responsibility through violence. Become a respectable American by getting drunk on weekends and raping sorority girls. Hey, all that legal mumbo jumbo up off the permanent record, ignore it. Just look at the guys from West Point. Then I got an idea. Forget all those town mayors tap at the store and choose or lose specials and motor voter bills. I'm going to go to the big man himself. I asked my mama to drive me to Walmart. They wouldn't let me buy that Beavis and Butthead record, but when I went to the back of the store and whipped out the fake ID, I bought me a shotgun. I was sure the clerk looked questioningly, especially since the picture on the ID was of a girl, but I just called the shop back, had a sex change, baby. I left that store with a Garth Brooks CD, a copy of Entertainment Magazine, and a spanking new lethal weapon. I kind of felt like Ralphie from A Christmas Story. How I got to Washington really doesn't matter. First day there, rode around, saw the monuments, took my picture with Elvis, you know, the usual tourist stuff. Around 2 a.m., I decided to head over to the Whitey House. Seeing how bad security is, I just crashed a plane through Chelsea's room and made my way to Big Bill. Outside his door, I took a deep breath and thought, would you trade your funk for what's behind door number three? Then I kicked it in and screamed, I'm going to kill you! Wait, where's Hillary at, Bill? Bill told me that she was staying with Al Gore again. But that didn't stop me from going straight to my work. Within seconds, I had Billy bawling like a baby on the floor of the White House. Then, right before I shot him, I thought, I thought of a few words to say to our Commander-in-Chief. Excuse me, Mr. Prez, and may I call you Willie? It really don't matter because I'm the one with the gun. It just comes down to you and me. Me with my shotgun and you with your whitewater property. Yeah, you're going to wish you had health care now, fool. Hilly Rain here to save you. Tipper ain't here to put a sticker on my mouth. And Al ain't here to slap me with one of his Jerry Garcia ties. It's just mano y mano. You see, I have come for my reward because I am a good, decent, upstanding, hard-working, red-blooded, God-fearing American. I watch my MTV. I eat my Oscar my bologna. I play my little lotto and I believe in the 1,000 points of light. Oh, wait. That was Bush. Maybe I'm killing the wrong guy. No, 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 I should shoot you, because every president is just a figurehead for every corrupt thing about America. All the lies, scandal, and stupidity that we, the people, have to lap up, the economic prison that your starch, starch collar backroom boys have cooked up, all the while claiming to be oh so liberal. We all want representative democracy, right? So here I am tonight representing America. You claim to be the prophet of change, and the best you can do is don't ask, don't tell? Come on, you're a Rhodes Scholar, and maybe you killed all them brain cells from hitting the bong with Jennifer Flowers every night after watching Hee Haw. You know, come to think of it, I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of killing you. I'm just going to let you live with your conscience, and maybe, just maybe with a little luck, you'll end up as lucky as Reagan did. Here's a Garth Brooks CD. Left Washington on Sunday, and on Monday morning, I was late in the homeroom, and they were telling me to straighten my tie. Oh, yeah. Well, then. <laughs> Okay. That was uh, rather deep. Yeah, I think um, <laughs> you might as well, you know, start right into it right now okay. and explain to our viewing audience what, you know, what happened there and what went what, on. Yeah, what you're I mean, tackling was, here, what you're. That was really okay. dramatic and that was really that was intense. That was great. 